Great, so welcome back. And this is question 180, and it's called consecutive numbers. So I'm going to give you guys two different solutions for this. The first will be using kind of three temporary tables where, you know, each one will represent, you know, one row in our table. And then the other will just be using a Windows function to essentially do the same thing. Um, now for this question, uh, we're given this logs table and we have an ID that kind of just auto increments. So you can trust that it goes from one, two, three, etc. And then we have an arbitrary number column, which just assigns a number here. And we want to find all the numbers that appear consecutively at least three times. And so in this case, the number one here, you see that appears three times in a row and we would want to return that value. Okay, so to do this, we'll add our select clause and we want the number and we'll just name this as consecutive nums. And so we're gonna use three different temporary tables here from the logs table and we'll just call them, you know, log one, log two, and log three. And so these will kind of look at each row in consecutive order. So I'll just add them all here. Oh, and name these aliases. Great, and then we'll just grab the first one here. And so next we have our where clause. And so this is kind of where all the magic happens where we'll be checking that these are in consecutive order. So we know that two minus one is equal to one. And so we'll just check that log one dot ID is equal to log two dot ID minus one. And then we're essentially repeating the process, but with two and three. And so now that we know that they're in consecutive order, we can check that their values are the same. And so once again, we can repeat the process, but instead of subtracting by one, we're just comparing you know, their values. So let's change ID to the num. Oh. Great. And so now the last thing that we want to do is check that, okay, well, we don't want to return, you know, all three numbers or four or five or however many that are in consecutive order. We just want to return, you know, the number one, for example. So I we'll have to add a distinct here. Okay. So I'll just double check my code. One, two, minus one. Great. And so looks okay. So let's run that. Oh, there's just, ah, <laughs> you have to name these differently. Let's give that another run. And I'm not sure if you can add an as column here. Awesome. Great, and so accepted. So let's submit that and success. So it was just that I had to remove that you know, as alias, you don't need that for when you're selecting tables, just for columns for Oracle. And then um, the other one was, I just had to add the actual different names for these temporary tables. So great. So let's check out the other solution where we will use the windows functions. And so what we're going to do is same thing. We'll select, you know, distinct number as that alias here and we're going to pull it from a subquery where we're going to use our windows functions and so we will want to select the number and so now we're going to have you know two windows functions where the number is going to be in the middle here and so we're going to check for the kind of leading number in front of it and then the lagging number after it, okay? And we'll just compare kind of like we did before, but with a Windows function. So now we'll get the lead and the lagging number. 
it will add our over clause. And we'll just call these, you know, before and after. You know, before and after, you know, the current number. And so now we just order by the ID, right? And so we'll get rid of the final comma, and this is just coming from our logs table. Great, so that's our subquery, and now we just want to do the same thing with our where clause where we'll check that they uh, all have the same values. So we want before, the number of before, to equal the current number, and then we'll want to check that the current number is equal to the number after it. All right, so let's give that a run, see if there's any errors. Yep, looks like it. So this is from logs. Oh, and we need, <laughs> this is a where clause, so we have to add an and. Okay. And... Anyways, I, I just have my solution above it, so we'll just compare the difference. So we'll grab this and throw her here. So that looks the same from select num. We have deleting, then lagging, order by, the over clause. Oh, so that makes sense. So I'm looking at the numbers, but the aliases that I provided are actually the numbers itself. So we just have to remove uh, these columns here. Awesome, sorry about that. <laughs> Great, so it's a live demo, clearly. So, um, oh, we just have to add after and before here. Great, so let's give that a run. And accepted. Let's double check. Success. We did it. So I, uh, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thank you.